Okay, what we have here is the new Zeus Pro line. And what I want to show you is the control panel on the top. Basically, this part is all the same as the, the Zeus and Apollo standard. You have the up, down, left, right, and select. Where you get into the new part is down here. As you can see, there is a power button, whereas on the standard Zeus or Apollo, there is a turn switch or knob back here to turn it from on, off to standby. On, on the pro line, you actually press the button, hold it down, scope comes on, and then press it down, hold it on, down, and it goes off. You also see these two new additions right here. This is Bluetooth antenna and GPS antenna. These are not buttons to be pressed. They're just antennas with a rubberized coating to, to keep the 20 millimeter waterproofness. Some things you don't see is there's an adapter that goes onto the battery port here. Right now it's running on CR123s. You can actually unscrew this, screw an adapter in, and place a canister with four AA batteries. Screw this top back on and you can run it off of four AA batteries. But that's not here for now. Another new feature is the remote control. As you can see, the remote control mimics the up, down, left, right, and the select buttons. You can remotely place this on your rifle or your person or wherever it's comfortable to control the scope remotely. Now what we're going to do is go into the menu screen. As you can see in the picture and picture up top, you have your menu screen. Our first section is going to be your palettes. You have white hot, black hot, sapia, fusion, rainbow, and rain. So there's all your, your palettes that you can choose from. Next is going to be your reticles. And you have the standard reticles that are on all the standard Apollos uh, and Zeus's, but you will also have your new MOA and mill dot reticles. Here's one of the first new ones. Here's your next one. And then we're back to your standard reticles that are in all the, the standard Zeus and Apollos. So there's your reticles and you saw the new ones that are only available in the pro line which are your mill and MOA reticles. Next we're going to go into the bore sight. Bore sight is how you actually sight in the scope. As you can see down there you have windage and elevation. Of course default is at zero and as you click left or right the numbers will increase or decrease and basically each click on your windage or elevation is like one click on your turret on your scope. So it's very easy to sight these scopes in. In fact a lot of times what I notice is when I'm shooting paper cardboard targets I will actually see the bullet heat up the target from my first shot and I will zero in to that that heated up portion of the target and it makes for a very quick zero. Next down the menu is your enhancement menu and this is new for the pro line and is very 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 awesome I'm very happy about this what we have here is contrast to start out with and your default contrast is is zero what, what your contrast will do, or what they call as active contrast enhancement, is you have values from negative 8 to positive 8. The negative side or the lower values will make hotter objects stand out more or have more contrast, while the positive will make cooler objects have more contrast or stand out more. So you can really tune that in to whatever your particular environment is, whatever situation you're in at the time, and make this really, your targets really pop out. Of course, the next on the menu is your sharpness. And this is, for anybody who's used Photoshop or anything like that, it's basically the same thing. 
what this does is enhance the lines and and make really make the sharpness come out on your image. Uh, this is from goes from negative 20, which is very soft, to 100, which is which is very sharp. And of course, once you get up to the top or end, you're going to have some signal to noise issues, some some graininess. But again, you can adjust anywhere from negative 20 to 20 and find out what looks best for that particular situation and make it where you can really define your target and see the edges and see all the detail in there. So another great enhancement. The next we have Smart Scene. Smart Scene goes from zero to 100. And what Smart Scene will do is if you're, for first example, we'll say an urban environment where the sun's been out all day, it's asphalt, concrete, bricks or or even in say a desert environment where it's rocks gravel and such where the sun has heated up your background and it's close to the, the same temperature as your target what will happen with smart scene is as you increase the value here it will detect the difference the slight difference and actually enhance your target and make it stand out more against that background that is of the similar temperature so you can take that from zero to 100. Next you have your sky and sea mode. The sky obviously is for detecting aircraft and such drones whatever in the in the sky and then sea will be for the ocean large bodies of water to detect objects there that make it makes the image look better and enhances it when you're going to have those types of situations. Next we have store images and this is also a new new th for the pro line your power button back here if you just click it once it takes a picture and stores an image into a uh, onboard hard um, hard drive on the unit and you can get those out with your video out port and use them later so that's a new new feature on the pro line and then we have our settings which is the same as, as always. You have your rifle profiles one through three. So you could set this scope up to be on a 5.56, a 6.8, 308, or even 50 cal since these pro lines are rated for 50 cal. So you can set it up for zero for three different rifles and be ready to go. So that's what your rifle profiles are. This is just your video out and that's standard for North America. Your next is your, your compass calibration. And what you would do is you would hit this, you rotate the unit around until it gets its, its calibration set and then your compass will be set. And that's also a new feature on these pro lines is a digital compass. Your left margin, your top margin, those actually move the screen. Um, I find it's best just to leave it at factory default. The Learn Remote will learn this new remote here for the Pro Line. And then your factory reset. If you've gone in or somebody gets a hold of your scope and pushes every button, your kid gets a hold of it, I don't know what, but and messes everything up, you can go right back to factory and get everything as it should be. And then last but not least is the power down, which what this is, is since now you have a power button on the standard zoo, since you had the knob, you had a standby mode. Now you can go to a standby, you can either turn it off, which you can also do by holding down the power button, or you can have it in standby mode for 5 minutes, 30 minutes, 1 hour, or 8 hours. So that's all your, your menu and all the new enhancements on the pro line. So now we'll go into some actual video through the scope. Okay, what we have here is one male target with an AR-15 wearing multicam ACUs driving a UTV. We go we start with the uh, 336 30 millimeter 30 hertz and we're going to go all the way up to the 640 100 millimeter 60 hertz scopes and we're going to have them go to start at 50 yards go to 100 150 and then 200 yards so you can see 
the difference of the scopes here. Now, the larger lens, like the 100 millimeter lens, where you're really going to see the difference in that 100 millimeter lens is when it's inclement weather or bad conditions for thermal, high humidity or detection range. That's really where that 100 millimeter lens is going to shine is in those situations because the 30 millimeter or 50 millimeter is not going to pick up as much heat as the 100 millimeter does when either it's raining, high humidity, high heat, or long detection range. So again for this test the 100 millimeter is not going to really, it's not where it's really going to shine but still put them all, all together here for you. And what I'm also going to do as the week goes on, I'm going to make it where you can click on each one of these videos and it will take you to the actual full video where you can look in full screen at each one of these. So you'll be able to click on each one of these and it will take you to the video that's being shown in full screen on a separate YouTube video. And then just to um, to show the different palettes, I'm going to put up a, a hog that I took. This was in the rain. The, the ground was soaked. All, everything was soaked um, and wet. And I went through, as you'll see here, it starts out in black hot. And what it is is the weeds are, are tall. And it's I, did, I wasn't getting the definition that I wanted. I thought it was because of the rain. It ended up being, well, it was partly because of the rain. It was because the weeds were tall and they were wet. But I wasn't getting the definition that I'm used to with this ProLine. So I went through all the different palettes, as you can see here, which we started out with Black Hot, we went to Sapia, and then the Fusion. Now we're in Rainbow, and then Rain, which is what I ultimately end up choosing for this because I thought he stood out really well. And I'm going to cycle through one more time before. There's White Hot. Black Hot, Sapia. Fusion, Rainbow, and then Rain. And you have to remember this was looking through waist high weeds in a, in a rainstorm. So but that's, that's just one example of how you can use these different palettes and how it'll work.